Presenting Olin Soule and Bill Boucher as Jeff and Lucky. Written by Mildred Hark and Noel McQueen. <laughs> In yesterday's episode, Jeff and Lucky broke camp and took to the road again, this time boarding a moving van while the driver wasn't looking. They'd had to leave town in a hurry because Jeff, as usual, didn't want any publicity. He'd won first prize in an art exhibit, and the Village Gazette wanted his life story. The moving van carries them far out into the country, and they are just congratulating themselves on having picked a conveyance with a roof on it because it has started to rain, when the driver discovers them and becomes violent. It seems he has a no-riders complex, and deaf to all arguments, makes them get off. We find them now, a few seconds later, standing dejectedly in the middle of the road. As they hear the truck roar away in the distance, it begins to rain still harder. And Lucky says... Uh, here, here, Jeff. You better hold this newspaper over your head there. Uh, thank you, Lucky. But uh, what will I do with my cane? Oh, I'll carry that. Uh, come on now. Better make for that big tree there. We'll stay dry under there for a while anyway. Uh, come on, let's go. Certainly hope so. Oh, look out, don't step on that puddle. Oh, there. I think I did. <clears throat> you know, unfeeling sort of chap, that driver. Yeah. Uh, well, some better. Uh, oh, here, here. Get away in under the branches there. Yes, I'm all set. And now I'll take my cane, Lucky. Yeah, you can have it. Well, lovely weather, isn't it? Mm -hmm. How long do you think the deluge will keep up? Well, if you mean the rain, there ain't no way of telling. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? I say to myself, we're all set for a nice long ride. We end up under a tree. Yes, yeah, just orphans in the storm. Yeah. You know, Lucky, I wish I were the Prime Minister of England. Hmm? Why? Because then I'd have an umbrella. <laughs> yeah. You'd have a lot of other things to go with it. What, for instance? Headaches. Yeah, and plenty of them. No, I wouldn't want any of those big guys' jobs. Whatever they do, they're wrong. Lucky, you astound me. You've been reading the newspapers. <laughs> well, I, I read that one you were holding over your head there. <laughs> and they're all about the same, I guess. Yes, yeah, so they are. Rumors of war, trouble, unrest. What's wrong with the world, anyhow? Hmm? It's raining. <laughs> yes, Lucky, I think you've got something there. Rain at the moment is our particular little problem. It's making things very unpleasant for us. Oh, do you have to rub it in? And that driver knew it was raining when he thrust us out. Hmm, so what? Well, don't you see? No one considers the other fellow. That's what's wrong with this world. Hmm. Now, couldn't he see that I just had my trousers pressed? Yeah. And what you wanted to spend our last four bits on that for is more than I can see. Habit, lucky habit. I can go just so long, and then it comes over me. An irresistible urge to have a crease in my pants. Yeah. Well, all I got to say is that it's a good thing I don't get them urges or whatever you call them, and we never eat. No, I disagree with you, Lucky. Now, I'm quite sure that lady we called on yesterday gave us the bacon and eggs because she liked the way I was dressed. Yeah, well, maybe. But look, let's not talk about food. I'm, I'm too hungry. Yes. Now that you mention it, I seem to have a bit of a gnawing sensation. Yeah, well, mine quit gnawing two hours ago. Now it's just a hole. A hole the size of a dozen wheat cakes. Mm. I thought we weren't going to talk about food. Oh, I know, but wheat cakes. You know, there was a woman down in Kentucky, Jeff. Boy, she knew how to make them. Why, one time she set a stack in front of me. A stack. Steaming hot. I know, and they... I know. You've told me. And golden brown. I go, yeah. And plenty of butter. Yes, and covered with maple syrup. And covered, tell you, Jeff, they just melt in your mouth. No. No, they leave me cold, Lucky. Huh? Now, what I should like first would be to get in out of this infernal rain. Yeah. And then I see a table in front of a fireplace. Huh? Perhaps a flunky dishing out terrapin on toast. No, there you go again. That fancy stuff. It's like the crease in your pants. Say, Jeff, tell me, you, hmm? you ain't getting tired of the road, are you? Tired of it? Well, there's times like this when it ain't so nice. <laughs> Look at that rain come down. No, don't worry, Lucky. When I talk about terrapin on toast, it's just a momentary reversion to type. Oh, a momentary reversion to uh, type. Yeah. I suppose that's your way of saying you ain't going back to, to well, whatever it was you left. Hmm. Whatever it was I left. Lucky, have I ever thanked you for not asking me any questions? <laughs> what would I be asking questions for? No, well, as far as I'm concerned, you're, well, just Jeff. Just Jeff. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a popular song. 
My mother called me Jeffrey, but now I'm just plain Jeff. <laughs> if you ain't the craziest guy... Well, I may not be the craziest, but I'll soon be the wettest. The tree of yours is starting to leak. Yeah. One drop, two drops, three drops, four. Yeah, we've got to do something about it. So how about that house over there? Oh, oh no, no, no. Uh, that's one of them great big estates. Well, pick the best, I always say. Maybe they've got a garage or two we can sleep in. Yeah, but the place is a mile long. We'd get drowned before we got to the back door. Who said anything about the back door? We'll go to the front. Now, I know you're goofy. Well, not at all. Come on, come on. I'll show you how the other half lives. Uh-uh-uh, uh, 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 not me, brother. If you want to get bounced down them front steps, just go right ahead. Yeah, I'll just sit here and watch. I got <clears throat> that lucky. I'm disappointed in you. Yeah? Afraid to crash your front door. Now, just suppose I'd assumed that attitude the first time you told me I wouldn't get hurt jumping out of a moving freight car. Oh, but now, wait, that's And different. in the dark at that. Yeah, but you... Uh, uh, all right, then. Well, if you want to stick your neck out, just stick mine out, too. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Come on, let's make a dash for it. Yeah. <coughs> hey, look. Huh? Them are awful hard steps yeah. to land on, Jeff. Do you still want to do it? Well, certainly I do. Oh. With my power of persuasion and your luck, we're practically in. Oh, well. Oh, but there's nobody home. Mm. Hey, look. What's that gadget on the door there? That, Lucky, is commonly known as a knocker. And it works like this. Look out. Eh? If anybody ever made a racket like that at my front door, Lucky, you on. never had a front door. Uh, shh, shh. I hear someone coming. Yeah, oh. oh, uh, good afternoon, madam. Uh, I regret having come to the front door, but this rain is so persistent. Yes, that... isn't it? Yeah. Oh, now, let me look at you. Oh, my, I had no idea they'd send me such a nice one. Uh, I beg your pardon. You're simply perfect. Yes, well, I'm delighted you think so, but... Now, turn around. Yes, just what I wanted. Hey, what is this? You know, yesterday I was so disappointed. They sent me all short, tubby ones. Oh, dear me. Uh, Jeff, she's a schoolboy. Uh, you say, uh, you say short, stubby ones? Yes, and who ever heard of a short, tubby butler? A short, stubby butler? Oh, oh, quite unthinkable, madam. But you are so tall. Now, what's your name? Why, it's uh, Jeffrey, madam. Thank you, madam. Jeffrey? Yes. Yes, that will do nicely. Uh, do come in. Jeff, I'm getting out of here. No, no, Lucky, come on. Come on, Ned. Oh, but uh, what does this fellow want? <clears throat> I, I want to get out he of He wants to get out of uh, the ranks of the unemployed, madam. He came for a position, too. Hmm? Dear me, I... I only asked the agency for one. Oh, but, madam, you couldn't turn him away. Look at him. But hmm? that's just it. I, I have been. And he doesn't look like, well, uh... Ah, uh, yes, I know what you mean, madam. A bit down at the heels. Hey, I don't like this. No, of course I... you don't. Nobody likes being down at the heels. But I'm sure this generous lady is going to help. You see, madam, he stuck to his last employer right through the depression. That's why he's in this uh, <coughs> depressed condition. Oh, the poor dear. Dear man. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, so you see, madam, if you could find something for him to do... Yeah, but I don't want... He to. doesn't want to impose on you, madam, but if you Now, could... let me think. Well, I, I can't use two butlers. Oh, oh but uh, how about a footman, madam? Surely you need a footman. Oh. A footman? Oh, my, I've always wanted one. But Orville, Orville is my husband. He says they're silly. Silly? My dear madam, when I had the privilege of serving the late Lord Claxton on twerps... On twerps? Yes, madam, on twerps. As I was saying, he had three footmen. Three? Well, then I surely ought to have one. Uh, no, wait a minute. No, no, I... no, no, I've made up my mind. And uh, what do I call you? Oh, I'm lucky. Is that so? Yeah. Uh, but what's your name? I'm lucky. Yes, 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 so, so you said... And it seems most extraordinary. You should think so. Uh, but Beg I... pardon, madam. You see, his name is Lucky. Yeah. Oh, I see. His name. <laughs> but uh, yeah. will that be impressive? Oh, indeed, yes. Why can't you just hear yourself saying, Lucky, you may remove the fowl. Hmm? Lucky, you may promenade the dog in the arbor. Why, madam, it's not only impressive. It has a cheerful sound. Well, so it has. Oh, I'm so pleased. Just a butler and a footman. Of course, I don't know what Orma will say, but uh, never mind. Now, if you follow me, I'll show you. Listen, Jeff, you ain't going to get me into no monkey suit. Wait, uh, uh, madam, uh, before we uh, begin our duties, do you suppose we might have something to eat? Uh, you see, due to circumstances over which we had no control, we missed our lunch entirely. Oh, what a shame. Yeah. I'll speak to Cook at once. Uh, over. 
What do uh, butlers and footmen eat? <coughs> Why, uh, butlers like terrapin on toast, and uh, footmen enjoy uh, wheat cake. Oh, uh, well. Uh, uh, but, of course, if you can't arrange that, why, well, hamburger. Hamburger? Oh, no. I won't allow it in the house. You see, Orville made his money in hamburger. They call him the Hamburger King. Really, madam? You must have seen the Babson hamburger stand. The Babson? Oh, sure, sure. I've seen them all over the country. We grind up the bull, you eat till you're full. Uh, exactly. Yeah. And, well, socially, that slogan has been a little difficult to live down. Uh, <coughs> yes, madam, I can see what you mean. Well, <laughs> I'll go and see what, what Cook can find for you. Uh, he's sure to have something. Uh, yes, madam, thank you, madam. Uh, sir, uh, 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 there. Now, you see, Lucky, we eat. Yeah. Of course, it wasn't very polite of me under the circumstances, but I knew if I mentioned food, you wouldn't be so anxious to leave. Hmm. That's what you think. Lucky. You're not even going to stay for a square meal? Well, sure I am, but after we eat, I'm going to blow. Oh, now, you can't do that. The lady has hired us in good faith. Say, what did you want to get me mixed up in all this for anyway? Just because she mistook you for some other guy? Is Lucky, it was a golden opportunity. Well, you ain't never going to get me to be no flunky. Flunky? Yeah. My dear Lucky, you're underestimating your position. You ought to be a footman. Footman? You know I don't like to be on my feet. Well, you won't be all the time. You'll be my assistant. I'll head the menage. The menage? It sounds like a circus. Well, then I'll head the household, if you prefer. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Oh. How you know what to do? Listen, Lucky, I've fired better butlers than even I'm going to be. Well, what of it? I, I tell you, I won't do it, Jeff. But I'm look, gonna Lucky, get... I... Hmm? Did I say look? Yeah. Lucky, do you see what I see? Hmm. Oh, what? It's not what, it's who. Huh? Or... In, in the hall, near the stairs there. You see? Hmm? Hey, she's so blonde, Jeff. Yes, very decidedly. And very beautiful. Yeah. But now remember, Lucky, hmm? she's probably the daughter of the house, and we're only menials. Yeah, but Jeff, say, it's a wonder they ain't grabbed her off for pictures. Well, must be a very good reason, Lucky. Why, well, now, that good-looking, they're usually dumb. Dumb, yeah. Shh. Look at them eyes. Well, oh, I'm supposed oh, to here cook, here. and she's preparing some steaks with onions. I do hope you'll like that. Oh, splendid, madam. Oh, uh, yeah. and I just told my daughter that we have a new butler and a footman, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's yeah. very nice, madam. Oh, uh, uh, was that your daughter standing in the hall just now? Yes, and oh, she's so pleased that you're here. <laughs> Marsha stays up to date almost every night, debutante parties and things, you know. So she does like her breakfast served in bed. Yes, I see. That will be one of your first duties in the morning, Jesse. Very well, madam. <laughs> if that uh, comes under the heading of butler's duties. Why, uh, uh, no, ma'am. Uh, <clears throat> that there comes under the heading of... <laughs> well, well, the prospect of serving the beauteous Marsha seems to have been too much for Lucky. He has finally capitulated and decided to go to work. But what is Orville, the hamburger king, going to say when he finds that his wife has not only hired a butler, but a footman as well? And what a footman. Listen in tomorrow for further hilarious adventures when Jeff and Lucky take up their new duties in the House of Babson.